Good evening and welcome to another episode of Whiskey and Wealth Wednesday. Uh, I am pleased to say that I'm up in Flagstaff avoiding the Phoenix heat. My wife found a great rental property. Uh, if you're interested, it's awesome. I will happily forward you their contact info. Tonight I'm drinking Forrester 1920 Prohibition style. Uh, and we're going to continue our series of the 13 wealth management issues and go to executive compensation. Now, I think the first thing we need to talk about is that it's not just C-suite executives. Uh, it's highly compensated employees, oftentimes incomes exceeding 120, 150 grand. But really what we're trying to focus on is the various types of compensation that people receive, ultimately how that's taxed, uh, and really doing a deep dive on that in this week's chapter. So clearly we're focused on minimization of taxes currently, uh, but we also, of course, have to have an eye to the future with respect to legacy, transfer, estate taxes, and things along those lines. And so uh, this week's chapter, we talk about, of course, compensatory things like just salary, but then also we're talking about insurances and stock options, bonuses, uh, non-qualified and qualified plans, uh, deferred compensation, all of these types of things fit into this category. And we take a, a very comprehensive approach to ensure uh, that our clients are optimizing their wealth, both, both currently and in the future, which of course goes to what are the strategies, because all of these things could be taxed differently. And so we want to make sure that we're addressing that specifically uh, for each type of compensation while also evaluating it comprehensively. So look for that chapter on Friday. Uh, and then next week, we're going to talk about business succession. So cheers, have a great uh, rest of your week and weekend, and we'll see you next time.